the old Montreal is in the city, occupies in the city the actual space that the old fortified city of the 18th century was occupying. But it was very different, of course. When you were approaching the city at that time, this large object in the landscape was very special, in fact. These large walls with all these roofs over and the steeples. And then you came in, let's say, in the market square, which became later the Place Royale, or Royal Square. And then you were in a very active, very effervescent, very uh, urban life, in fact, there, suddenly. When coming in by the government door, closer to the actual Plaza Cartier, then it was something different with all these large buildings occupied by the governor and the other important people in the city at that time. It was also different of what was in the outside the city, let's say. Of course, the city changed a lot. Many buildings were replaced, most of them, in fact. And of course, the actual walls were demolished for the expansion of the city. But many components of the old fortified city remained. First of all, the actual street grid by itself. You walk the same, on the same streets then at that, in this 18th century. And many buildings, not so many, but very important, as the old seminary of Saint-Sulpice or the uh, Ramsey residence, which became the Hôtel de la Compagnie des Indes, and others, some houses also. Of course, many elements that we can see today in the old Montreal weren't there at the, uh, at the time of the old fortified city. Large display windows uh, appeared in the 19th century as did the large commercial buildings with their large windows upstairs and their elaborate stonework. Uh, and then later on, the uh, large uh, office buildings on St. James Street, uh, for example. All changed the scale of the city and this general aspect. But still today, when you go in the old Montreal, in a certain way, you go in the fortified city of the 18th century.